Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Honest Mechanic. I'm Brian, your go-to guide for all things automotive. Today we're diving into a hot topic, literally. We're talking about engine overheating, why it happens and how to fix it. So let's roll up our sleeves and get into it. First things first, what causes your engine to overheat? Well, your engine operates at high temperatures and relies on the cooling system to keep it at an optimal temperature. When something goes wrong in this system, the heat can skyrocket, leading to overheating. Now let's look at the common culprits. 1. Low coolant level. Coolant, a mixture of water and antifreeze, is vital for absorbing heat from the engine and transporting it to the radiator for dissipation. If the coolant level is low, there's not enough medium to carry away the heat, leading to overheating. Low levels are often due to leaks or evaporation over time. 2. Coolant leaks. One of the primary reasons for low coolant levels is a leak. These can occur anywhere in the cooling system, including the radiator, hoses, water pump, thermostat housing, and the heater core. Leaks are often indicated by a pool of coolant under the car, a sweet-smelling odor, or a low coolant warning light. 3. A failing or failed thermostat. The thermostat regulates the flow of coolant based on engine temperature. A malfunctioning thermostat can get stuck in the closed position, blocking coolant flow to the radiator, causing the engine temperature to rise rapidly. 4. Radiator issues. The radiator cools the coolant so it can return to the engine at a lower temperature. Problems like blockages from sediment or external debris, leaks, or a malfunctioning radiator fan prevent it from effectively reducing coolant temperature, leading to overheating. 5. Water pump failure. The water pump circulates coolant throughout the engine and to radiator. A faulty pump can't move coolant effectively, causing the engine to overheat. Common signs of a failing water pump include coolant leaks at the pump, whining noises, or a loose pulley. 6. Clogged coolant passages. Over time, the engine's cooling passages may become clogged with rust or sediment. This blockage can significantly restrict coolant flow, reducing the system's ability to transfer heat away from the engine. 7. Blown head gasket. The head gasket seals the engine block to the cylinder head. If it blows, coolant can leak internally or externally. Internal leaks may cause coolant to burn in the combustion chamber, leading to white smoke from the exhaust, loss of coolant without visible leaks, and bubbles in the radiator or coolant overflow tank. Before we look at the things you can do if your engine is overheating, please subscribe to our channel for more such informative content and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our next video. Now, how do you know your engine is overheating? Watch for warning lights on your dash, a temperature gauge spiking, or even steam from under the hood. If you see these signs, it's time to act. Things you can do if your engine is overheating. 1. Check and refill coolant. Make sure your coolant is at the right level and refill if necessary. 2. Inspect for leaks. Look around the radiator, hoses, and engine for any signs of leaks. 3. Test the thermostat. Replace it if it's not opening at the right temperature. 4. Clean the radiator. Remove any debris blocking the outside and flush it if there are internal blockages. Use a radiator stop leak if there are visible signs of leak. 5. Assess the water pump. Listen for noises or leaks from the pump. It may need replacement. Lastly, if doing the above doesn't work, then it's time to check your head gasket. Please subscribe. 